said, hey, Soup, I know this is not a catfish story, but I recently met this boy five months ago. We were close friends at first. We started dating a few weeks after that. Everything was going fine. We're literally having the time of our life together. We basically do everything together. Like, we were literally having the time of our life together. We basically do everything, everything the same. It's like we're twins. I really like that about him. He makes me feel safe and comfortable around him. But he just told me two days ago that he had gonorrhea. When I heard this, I was really upset. Wow. What the f is that permanent? Is gonorrhea permanent? <laughs> Why are you saying that? When I heard this, I was really upset, but I tried not to show it. I didn't want to make him feel bad. He told me he had it in the past. He got it from an ex-girlfriend, and but that he's clean. He got checked out. I want to believe him, but it's like, I, I can't. I don't trust him enough to start sleeping with him. Oh! Oh, you haven't done anything yet. Okay. Woo! Damn. <laughs> you know, it's not funny. I know really not funny, but... Um, yeah, I felt bad for smiling because like, I don't know, it was just random. The gonorrhea was very random. I didn't, I didn't expect it three sentences down, but you haven't done anything with him. So <sighs> had in the past because of the ex-girlfriend, but he's clean now. He got it checked out. I want to believe him. Okay. I just don't trust him at all. I want him to take my V. So yeah, I just want to make sure it's safe. I'm safe before I do it. I don't know how to feel about him after that. So I kind of want to break up with him. I just need some advice. No, um, it's just like, it's just the fact that like, why did he wait five months to tell you that he had gonorrhea? Why did he wait five months to tell you he had gonorrhea? I don't know. It's just like, eh, I don't know. I just feel like that's something you should mention at first. That's something you gotta mention, bro. Cause I feel like eventually it's gonna lead to that. Especially if y'all really like each other. Like that's something to get out of the way. Not wait five months. You waited damn near half a year to tell her that. Who openly spouts, I got a STI somebody that cares about the other person so it should go like hey i got an sti you want to be with me are y'all retarded bro <laughs> don't piss me off and project yo grown as hell i would hope that you would say something like that not first day you meet the person but like at least a month in at least uh, like hello especially if you know you trying to them <laughs> or you know it's gonna lead to y'all like can we please get serious can we please get serious i would not that's kind of nasty man but hey that's kind of nasty bro it's like if you know it's gonna lead to and you know you're trying to and and let's be honest men know more they probably know they know they want to they know so you didn't say nothing for five months are you slow five months bro 30 days 30 days 30 days 30 days 30 days Pass before you said anything and you probably had already had thoughts you probably was already talking sex like come on bro let's let's be honest bro Nick be moving quick so let's not act like Nick had all this time and they weren't talking like that or nothing like that to even mention it they had all this time i feel like if y'all was already on that level before that and you know he had time to say it and he still hasn't said it until like five months in you're not obligated to do nothing you're not obligated to get with them you're not obligated to do any any nasty things with them especially knowing that you could literally just leave honestly and it would be a-okay but i feel like it's up to you you could go to the clinic with him double double check all of this you can go to the clinic with him literally if it's that serious to you if you truly care about him and you know you want to keep going if you decide to stay definitely make sure you have to make sure with your own literal eyes you got to make sure with your own eyes don't let him tell you you need to see the fucking paper you need to see negative if it's creeping you out too much you feel uncomfortable leave Question, let me ask y'all though, let me ask y'all. Is that an instant like deal breaker for y'all? Or is that like, a, is it, would, that, would that be like a turn off for y'all? Somebody waited five months to tell you that they had an STD? Don't matter which one it is, whether it's curable or uncurable. I mean, uncurable is probably a little bit more crazier, but a curable one. They saying it was taking about two, three weeks to clear up. So I just want to know, was he sleeping with the ex to contract this while they was talking? Cause ain't no way he had it for months. And ain't been to the doctors? Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, that, I didn't even think about that. That is kind of weird. Because you don't like or love me for real if you waited five months to say something? Yeah, because be respectable. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got a, you, you got an affection in your body. And you know you're trying to take it there with me. And you waited five months to say something? And, like, y'all probably got past the, like, the oogly boogly getting to know each other. You know you want to talk to them. And you still ain't saying that? Five months later, that's too much. That's too long for me. I feel like that's way too long for me. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> yo not to disappear bro i'm literally i'm out of there that's that's a little weird 
You probably ain't care for real. Was piping the ex guaranteed? You think you, people that nasty they they still be messing with somebody who still got it? Let me reread it because maybe I missed something. He just told me two days ago he had gonorrhea. When I heard I was really upset, I tried not to show it and make him feel bad. You're really you're really sweet. You're really sweet. I try not to show him and make him feel bad. I guess. <laughs> like that's nasty, man. Say so he's clean now. He got checked out. I want to believe him. Okay, he's clean now. When was this though? He said he got it from his ex, but he's clean now. I just don't, I don't, I don't know. It's gonorrhea, a nasty one. I don't want to Google it and see some nasty shit. Like it's called the clap. Uh Oh, I didn't know that was called the clap, bro. I thought, I thought some other shit was called clap. I didn't know that was clap. Transmitted bacterial infection. If untreated may cause infertility. Oh, that's serious. If you want to have kids, that's serious. Short term resolves in days and weeks. Ew. Does it go away fast? What's the symptoms? Is that the leaky shit? Obvious symptoms? Well, not experience obvious symptoms. Oh, maybe they didn't have any symptoms for a long time. Signs? You may itch. Oh, it's the itchy shit. Painful bowel movements. It's the scratchy scratch. You're telling me this nigga was <laughs> thinking that shit was normal? You gotta watch out for them scratchers, bro. Get checked out with them. Double, double, double check. If that's if you want to stay. But it's truly up to you. This is like a pre This is really a, a your preference thing. I know you want a device, but this is a your preference thing because this is some serious shit. Man. Me personally, bitch, I believe. <laughs> I will leave. You know, five months, that's a little disrespectful, you know? Unless he literally did not know until like five months. But I feel like he already knew. It was given like he already knew. They sent pictures. <laughs> Yo, hopefully not of that. Let me not, let me. They did send pictures. It's a screenshot. Said, why well, I made you feel some type of way. I made the convo awkward. Made you look at me differently. That's how I feel right now. No bullshit. Feel like you trying to call me dirty. No bullshit. You're a little dirt, dirt. Scratch, scratch. I'm not calling you dirty. I'm not calling you anything. But damn, it's like, what if we did do something together? What if I did? I would wish you would tell me before. Don't matter if it was years ago. I still want to know. Yeah, you right. But I would have told. Because that's not something you can just say off your chest to somebody. Yeah, I fuck it up. Now you don't want to do shit with me? That's all me. You right. You right for feeling that way. It's cool. At least I said it. But I knew you would feel this way. And that's why I was scared to say it. So it was years ago, but at the end of the day, we didn't do shit. And I told you first out of everybody, and the first response I got really pushed me down. Was it years ago? It's like, I don't understand. Like, it's like, it's the first person you told out of everybody, before your mama, before anyone else. But it was years ago? I don't understand. What is the timeline for this? <laughs> what is the timeline? These gotta be high schoolers. But it's truly up to you, though. This is your genitalia, you know? I just personally wouldn't, and... Yeah, that's what I would do. But like, you know, this is a real interesting topic. So I want to know everybody's opinion, even the people's opinions in the comments. Like, let me know. Let me know what this one. Let me know.